What is up guys, it's Jay here, Jmedia1, and today we're back with another really cool product to review. Today we got the OPQPQ 10.1 inch LCD digital microscope. This is the model ODM202. This thing is pretty big and that's because it actually comes with a display which makes it super cool to us. So we want to share it with you guys, so let's just get straight to the unboxing. There we have it. This is what it comes like. It's in this nice box here and it is super big. So we're going to get it open. First we just pop open a flap here like this. We got some foam at the top to help it during shipping. And then we have a whole instruction manual on how to set this up, how to use it. You can freeze images. You can do all kinds of neat things with this. Inside the box we have our microscope display. And that is this guy right here. And it is packed as pretty nice. We're going to try to be gentle with this guy. And that's what it looks like. This thing is super, super nice looking. Very nice display. It does have a screen protector here. You got some toggles here. So you got power, left, OK, right, menu. It does have this really nice... Um, kind of ribbed knob right there and then we got some uh, protective plastic at the bottom here and it looks like there's some LEDs below that if you can see inside of here it does look like there's LEDs inside of there as well we're gonna set that down real gently right now we also have some cables so this one's an HDTV to mini and it's 1.5 meters this is probably going to be for our display you can see here, it's just got the, the mini HDMI as well as the HDMI on both sides there. So we're going to set that to the side. We also have another cable here. This is just a regular USB-C cable. Nothing fancy about that. Another USB-C cable. It does come with a remote, which is very cool. So it does have left and right arrows and OK, a power off. You long press OK, it says. And then this protective film is just going to keep the batteries from making contact so they last a little bit longer. We got a cleaning cloth for the display. And then it also comes with this power brick. So we can plug everything in. There is a little adapter here. If we get through the foam underneath here, there's more stuff. Get rid of that. So we got this stand here. That's really nice looking, kind of aluminum stand. And it's got two knobs on, on here, and that's going to allow us to adjust it up and down just like that in that orientation. So as we rotate it, and then on the back here, that's going to let us lock it into place. So we can make that stiffer on the back to keep it locked in. There's also two little thumb screws we can thumb out, and that's going to hold something in there pretty tight. There is some nylon on the inside so it doesn't damage it, which is a super fine touch. There's also a little thumb screw here that moves up and down that's going to let us make some adjustments. Here we have our base. So at the base here we get two lights, so you get these two lights, and those are flexible and that allows us to kind of focus in on the area that we're going to be magnifying, which is great. This right here is the stand. That should just screw down inside of there just like that. And it is threaded, so it allows us to screw it right in. And then this thumb screw on the top is going to be our adjuster so we can get it nice and snug exactly where we want it to go. Just like that. There is a little dial on here that kind of shows brighter and dimmer, which will probably allow us to do some adjustments there. On the back side, we have a USB-C plug and a USB-A plug, both. And then we have these nice rubber feet on the bottom. And those feet are just going to protect it from scratching any surface that we put it on. This thing is pretty nice, guys. It's pretty high tech and it's pretty heavy duty. It's not a cheap stand at all. So it looks like the bottom side of this is our camera. If you look under here as we examine it a little bit closely. And it says 30 millimeters on there, UV. And that is going to sit inside of here just like that. So then we can tighten down these thumbs and kind of get it exactly where we need it to go. 
And you can adjust a little bit of height on that because you have the whole length of this shaft here to make some adjustments. So we can let this thing drop all the way down if we like, just like that, and then tighten it down. And it does have that nylon on there, so it's not going to damage it or hurt it. And this display is large. It's a very good size. If we look on the back side of the display, we can see that it does have some different outputs. So it has a USB-A output, a USB-C, a micro SD, and there's actually a card in here, I believe. It does say that it comes with a 32 gigabit card and it is already in there. And then there's our HD, which is our high definition uh, HDMI cable. So that's going to allow us to plug it in the back there. I'm gonna kind of get this out of the way. I'm gonna kind of move some things around, make it a little bit easier for us to see what's happening here. Because I want you guys to see exactly what this thing can do. The coolest part about this, and we've reviewed other microscopes before. If you haven't seen that, check out our video. We will leave a link for you. But the coolest thing about this microscope specifically is the fact that it has a display. Now you can get this with a 4.3 inch base. However, I would highly recommend this route because this thing's $215.99. You can get 10% off right now. And it includes free returns and uh, $24 prime savings. So that's great. So this, this is the micro HDMI or the mini HDMI. We're gonna plug it back in here just like that. And if you see there, that says the HD, and then right underneath here, like we said before, we have our um, inputs and our outputs. So this is our HD side of it. We could plug that into an HDMI. This is our USB-C cable, and we do have two of these. So we can plug the USB right here. And then we're also going to have uh, USB-A down here we can plug into. Power brick and then USB-C. So USB-C is going to go down there at the bottom. The first plug it in, we can see that the lights come on right away. And right here we have a slider that's touch controlled which is super cool. As you slide across here like that you can see that the slider gets brighter and dimmer. You can see here. You slide across it gets brighter and dimmer. It tells you right on the slider how bright or dim you're at which is a very, very cool feature. This thing has some cool tech built into it directly. You can make these lights brighter or dimmer based on what we're looking at. Now your adjustment here is gonna be how close we wanna get the microscope to what we're looking at. And you can see that the power light comes on here right away. So there's a red indicator light that comes on. If we hold down the power button, we can see right away that the screen starts to come right on. And it's gonna go right into the display right off of the bat. And you can kind of see my finger inside of there if I kind of make the adjustment there for it. And this is where we're gonna make our lower adjustments to come down and get zoomed in. If you look here, you can hit the OK button. You can make your adjustments on how much you wanna zoom there. So right there is one times, one three, one six, two four. You go all the way to 16 times right there. So we're gonna leave that at one times. If you go to the menu, you have some options in here. You can do a playback. You can do a image adjustment so we can adjust the brightness right there. We can also set it to auto, manual, and calibrate. So we have our red, our green, and our blue. We have our different effects. So we have color, black and white, and negative. We have WDR, we can turn that on or off. We have our contrast, our saturation, and our sharpness settings, which is very cool. We go over here, we got a different settings inside of here for the shortcut so we can do photo video or freeze frame we can do 4 millimeter or 16 meter uh, 1080p or 720p video uh, LCD brightness we can adjust that we can turn the auto off on for a certain amount of time set our different languages so they have English Canadian Japanese so on and so forth uh, date and time can be set format version all kinds of stuff this is pretty sophisticated so you can have a roller set up on here, you can have a centering line, you can have a line index, and you can show the lines right on the display itself, which is very cool. So that's all of our settings right there inside of the menu, and then we can just kind of exit out of that. Now you are going to want to calibrate this guy right out of the box because we're going to want to get the clearest quality image. If we look in our user manual, it tells us exactly how to do that. 
So we're going to get this thing calibrated for you guys and get it all set up and then you guys can see exactly how it works. Okay, so a couple things I want to show you here. So the display looks really good once you get the focus and everything set up and in. But one thing you want to note is this mount right here. So if we look right here on this mount, that mount right there, you want to make sure that that mount is all the way at the very top. And the reason why is because when we were making our adjustments, we're going to make a focus adjustment right here on this knob. And that knob will not move if we do not have that mount all the way at the top. No big deal. It's just one of those things that we have to note. So you're going to want to follow the instructions very carefully when you're setting this thing up. So we got a little screw down inside of here. You can see the little screw on the plate. And we have our lights positioned kind of the way that we want them to be positioned. Now, if you can see right here on the display that if we make our focus adjustments, we're just turning this knob right inside of here to make our focus adjustments. We can see that that screw comes into really good clarity and detail right on the display itself. And also keep in mind that we can change the display settings inside of here in our menu. So we have this little menu button here. We can also change the brightness of the screen with this little drag indicator here. And we can change the brightness of the LCDs inside of the microscope right here. So we have this slider as well. And you can see that, that it kind of dims it gets brighter on the screen as we make that adjustment. You just kind of want to fine tune everything because depending on what you're trying to magnify, and this is a tiny little screw, you're going to want to make sure everything is correct. Now we also have these knobs and you can see these knobs right here go down. So as we turn this, we're moving it down and we're getting closer to the, getting closer to the screw. And so you have that adjustment as well. And when you get down inside of there, the screen's gonna start to look like that because it's losing focus. So we have to just turn this knob. And as we turn it, we're going to get back into focus just like that. So we can get really close and we can get really detailed uh, views of just the screw. You can see the threads really well. You can see the close up of the head. And this thing is about this close at this point in time to the screw. So we can see it right inside of there. And we can do all kinds of different things that we want to magnify inside of here. This thing works for a lot of different stuff. So if we grab our lighter here, for example, we get really close to the head on this, which is just really interesting. So we get really close to the head right there. And then we can make our adjustments. So we're making our focus adjustments here. So we're just turning the knob to get a, be a better view here. And we can see that the, the Made in the USA right there on, on the lighter is starting to come into focus. Now, as we do that, we can make the adjustments with our knobs as well. So our knob adjustments can come up. We can get a little bit further away from it. And then we're gonna have to make our focus adjustments again right here. So we just kind of work with it. We're kind of playing with it. The cool thing about this thing is that there's lots of different ways that you can hook it up. And so you can hook it up to a, see, there we go. We're starting to get in. So you can hook it up to a um, external display. You can also hook it up to a Windows or Mac PC. So you can see right here, we have our Mac. And you can hook it up to that. It uses Photo Booth for the Mac side of it. So if you wanted to go that route, you can do that. Um, you also have some options as far as um, taking pictures because it does have that built-in micro SD card. So we can take some photos with it as well, which is a very nice option. So if we want to record video of whatever we're putting under the microscope, we have that option as well. So there's lots of different cool things that we can do with this. I love that the display is already built in. We still have our screen protector on here and you're seeing clarity with the screen protector on there, but that peels right, right off just like this. We can peel that screen protector right off just like that. And now we can see how beautiful the monitor really is. And it's a nice display for being 10 inches. This thing is awesome. It's a great display and we can see just, you know, kind of what we want to magnify. There's lots of different things. You can do coins, you can do all kinds of stuff, but this thing has really, really good magnification. I mean, right there, we could see that displayed really well. And if you look at it from this view, you can't see it at all. I mean, it worked pretty close. I try to focus in on that. 
try to get a good view of it. That's about how you're gonna get. But if we get onto the microscope, we can just see how clear this really becomes. And it does a great job. It's a very, very good microscope. I'd like that you can take videos with. I'd like that you can adjust the display here so you have your drag and dial indicator there for your, your brightness. You can adjust the brightness of the outside LEDs so you can make this brighter or dimmer. And doing so is just gonna get you a better quality image depending on what you're going for. This thing has lots and lots of features, lots of cool things you can do, outputs for HDMI, outputs for USB, um, hook it up to monitors, hook it up to your computer if you want to, do all kinds of stuff, and it has its own built-in menu. Now, one thing we haven't talked a lot about is it does come with a remote like this. You can make some different things happen with the remote as well, like you can hit the OK button, which is this green button here, and it will start to take some pictures. So if we hit the OK button, you can see that it will take shot one, shot two, shot three, so on and so forth. And they're just going to pop up and they're going to be saved on that little micro SD card. You can also do this by hitting this OK button right here. So if you hit that, it's going to start to take pictures as well. So that's cool. You can hold it down and it's going to take video and things like that. So you have a lot of different options with this thing. It does some very, very cool things. And you have a remote and you have all kinds of different things that you can do with it. For the price point, I think it's 150% worth it because you're getting a high quality microscope with a 10 inch display. Beautiful display, fully adjustable. Everything looks super cool and super nice. And uh, I highly recommend it to you guys. So we're going to go over a few techs. Hey guys, so we're just going to go over some cool tech specs about this thing. First of all, it's the OPQPQ HDMI LCD digital microscope. We're going to leave a link below so you can get one of your very own as well. It's compatible with TV, Windows, and Mac which is very cool. It's got a 32 gigabyte card built right into it, which is another awesome feature. It's got that bracket extension tube that allows you to change the height level of it just by turning those knobs. Comes with a remote control, which is very cool. And you can check different things with it. You can check the coins and different things like that. We showed you a few examples, but there's tons of stuff that you can do. It's got the 10.1 inch uh, high definition display. It's HDMI, which is great, and it gives you a high resolution of 1024 by 600, giving you a clear and richer detail color. The screen supports 90 degree rotation. Adjust the angle according to your own needs and comfort. So you don't have to have it at one level. There is a pivot point on, on there as well that you can adjust the pivot. This has the upgraded 10.23 inch bracket. The 10 inch LCD microscope stand uses an upgraded 10.23 inch lift bracket, which allows the lens to capture a larger area of detail in the zero to negative 8.4 inch height range, allowing you to easily see the entire coin or a larger PCB board if that's something that you're into. We'd like to build boards around here, so we will definitely be using it for that. In case that 10.23 inch bracket cannot meet the requirements, you can also purchase a 5.9 inch extra extension tube as well. It has a 16M ultra precise camera. The digital microscope has a built in 16mm ultra high definition lens, allowing you to observe magnification details within 1200 times magnification such as air coins and burnt components on circuit boards, which is very cool. You can zoom in and out by adjusting the lift bracket and manually rotating the focus knob. Uh, it does have that touch brightness adjustment, which we really like. Uh, it has six built-in LED lights underneath, and the work table is equipped with two gooseneck side lights, which allows you to have a brighter field of view. Compared with other microscope knob type brightness adjustments, the OPQPQ microscope adopts dual touch mode brightness adjustment, which can easily handle the brightness at will and easily. Photo and video recording mode, which is very cool. 
You can use the microscope photo feature to capture air coins, collect stamp sets, or use the soldering microscope video recording feature to record your entire electronics repair process to post to YouTube or share your experience. The microscope supports a maximum of 64 gigabyte memory card, which is not included. It comes with a 32 gigabit memory card. It's got that remote control operation which allows you to easily control the microscope. The remote is an essential tool for not scurbing the microscope while snapping pictures. Avoid shaking caused by the pressing of the button on the microscope so to get some stable pictures. And that's a very good point. Like I said, the price point on this thing is $215.99. It's got five-star reviews all over the place on Amazon. There's 71 ratings on this thing, so it is definitely worth a look, guys. If you like this video, make sure to mash the like button. Also, feel free to subscribe to our channel so you can check out new tech reviews like this every day. And we will see you in the next video. Later, guys.